Vera Zarina was a trailblazing figure in the world of entertainment, leaving an indelible mark on both film and ballet. Born Eva Brigida Hartwig in Germany, she moved to America and began her career as a dancer, eventually performing with the renowned ballet Russ de Monte Carlo. Zarina's striking beauty and impressive talent led to her being discovered by Hollywood, and she went on to appear in a number of successful films throughout the 1940s. In addition to her work in film, Zarina was also an accomplished stage performer, appearing in several Broadway productions, and even creating her own dance company. She was known for her versatility as a performer, excelling in both classical ballet and more modern dance styles. Zarina's contributions to the world of dance and entertainment continue to be celebrated and studied to this day. Despite the many challenges she faced as a woman in a male-dominated industry, Zarina's determination and talent allowed her to achieve great success and leave a lasting legacy. Vera Zarina was a renowned actress, dancer, and choreographer born in Germany in 1917. She became famous for her work in Hollywood musicals and on Broadway. You might know her from movies like The Goldwyn Follies and I Was an Adventuress. Do you have a favorite Vera Zarina performance? Is there a particular moment from one of her works that has stayed with you? Or maybe you have a cherished memory associated with her? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Throughout her career, Zarina captivated audiences with her talent and grace. But there's more to her story than meets the eye. In this video, we'll share some surprising, funny, and even sad facts about this classic star. So keep watching to learn more. Vera Zarina, born Eva Brigida Hartwig in Germany, was heavily influenced by her family and upbringing. Her mother, a dancer and actress, enrolled Zarina in ballet classes at a young age, sparking her interest in the performing arts. The family later moved to Norway, where Zarina continued her dance training. At the age of 16, Zarina was discovered by ballet impresario Colonel W. de Bessel, who invited her to join his ballet Rouge de Monte Carlo. This opportunity exposed her to the world of professional dance and provided her with the opportunity to work with notable choreographers and dancers. George Balanchine, co-founder of the New York City Ballet, became a key influence and mentor for Zarina. He choreographed many of her ballet performances and later cast her in several of his Broadway productions. Balanchine and Zarina eventually married, further solidifying their professional and personal relationship. In addition to Balanchine, Zarina was inspired by the work of Anna Pavlova, a renowned Russian ballerina. She admired Pavlova's artistry and grace and sought to emulate her style and technique. Zarina's exposure to both ballet and Broadway helped shape her career as a versatile performer. She became known for her ability to seamlessly transition between dance and acting, and her contributions to both fields left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. Vera Zarina was a renowned actress, dancer, and choreographer. She was born in Germany and later became an American citizen. Zarina began her career as a ballerina and then transitioned to acting in films. One of her earliest film roles was in the 1941 movie The Beautiful Blonde from Bashful Bend. She also appeared in I Was an Adventuress and Louisiana Purchase, both released in 1941. In 1943, Zarina starred in The Heavenly Body alongside William Powell and Hedy Lamarr. Zarina's must-watch movies include On the Town and The Killing, both released in 1949. In On the Town, Zarina starred alongside Gene Kelly and Frank Sinatra, playing the role of a museum employee who falls in love with a sailor on leave in New York City. In The Killing, Zarina played a supporting role in this film noir classic. For those new to Zarina's work, On the Town is a great place to start. It showcases her dancing skills and her ability to hold her own against some of Hollywood's biggest stars. The Killing is also a must-watch as it highlights her versatility as an actress and her ability to play more dramatic roles. In addition to her work in film, Zarina also had a successful career on Broadway and in television. She passed away in 2003, but her contributions to the world of entertainment continued to be celebrated and remembered. Vera Zarina, born Eva Brigida Hartwig, was a ballerina, actress, and choreographer who discovered her passion for dance at a young age. Raised in Oslo, Norway, Zarina's mother enrolled her in ballet classes when she was just six years old. 
It was there that Zarina's natural talent and love for dance were recognized by her instructors. One pivotal experience that fueled Zarina's desire to pursue a career in dance was when she attended a performance of the ballet's Russes at the age of eight. The performance, which featured the famous dancer and choreographer Mitchell Falkine, left a lasting impression on Zarina and solidified her dream of becoming a ballerina. Zarina's talent and dedication to dance led her to train at the Royal Ballet School in London, where she honed her skills and developed her unique style. She later joined the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo, where she quickly rose through the ranks and became a principal dancer. In addition to her successful career in ballet, Zarina also became an accomplished actress, appearing in numerous films and stage productions throughout her career. Despite her success in both dance and acting, Zarina never lost her passion for ballet and continued to perform and choreograph well into her later years. Zarina's creative spark and dedication to her craft have left an indelible mark on the world of dance and entertainment, inspiring generations of dancers and performers to pursue their passions and follow their dreams. Vera Zarina, a renowned dancer and actress, lived in a house that was later bought by Shirley MacLaine. Upon first visiting the house, Shirley had a psychic impression of a dancer having died on the staircase. She was so moved by this impression that she decided to buy the house without seeing all of it. It was only later that she discovered the identity of the dancer as Vera Zarina. Zarina had two sons with her husband, Goddard Lieberson. Peter Lieberson became a composer, while Jonathan, who had a PhD in philosophy from Columbia University, died in 1989. Peter also passed away in 2011. Vera Zarina's sons, Peter and Jonathan, followed in their parents' footsteps and made their own contributions to the world of music and philosophy, respectively. Her legacy as a dancer and actress lives on, and her former home continues to be a source of intrigue for those who know its history. Vera Zarina, born Eve Jebhardt, faced several challenges in her early life and career. Despite being born into a family of means, her family lost their fortune during the Russian Revolution, and Zarina experienced financial struggles growing up. Zarina's passion for dance led her to pursue a career in ballet, but she faced skepticism from the industry due to her unconventional background. Many in the ballet world doubted her ability to succeed as a dancer, but Zarina's determination and resilience helped her overcome these obstacles. One of the creative solutions Zarina found to overcome industry skepticism was to expand her skills beyond ballet. She became a skilled actress, singer, and choreographer, and these varied talents helped her secure roles in both ballet and on Broadway. Zarina's financial struggles also persisted into her early career, and she often had to work multiple jobs to make ends meet. However, she never let these challenges deter her from pursuing her dreams. Instead, she used them as motivation to work harder and push herself to succeed. Zarina's story is a testament to the power of resilience and creativity in overcoming obstacles. Despite facing financial struggles and industry skepticism, she persevered and built a successful career as a dancer, actress, and choreographer. Her determination and innovative spirit continue to inspire aspiring artists today. Vera Zarina was a prominent ballet dancer and choreographer born in Berlin, Germany, with Norwegian heritage. She adopted the stage name Vera Zarina when she became a member of the Ballet Russe in 1933. Zarina's career took off as she performed in various ballets and operettas, showcasing her exceptional skills and artistry. She graced the stages of renowned theaters and venues, leaving audiences in awe of her talent. Throughout her career, Zarina worked with some of the most celebrated figures in the dance and theater world. Her collaborations included partnerships with George Balanchine, a renowned choreographer, and Cole Porter, a famous composer. These collaborations resulted in groundbreaking performances that pushed the boundaries of traditional ballet and operetta. Zarina's impact on the dance world extended beyond her performances. She became a respected choreographer, creating innovative and captivating dance routines for various productions. Her choreography combined classical ballet techniques with modern dance elements, resulting in a unique and engaging style. In addition to her work in ballet and operetta, Zarina also appeared in several films throughout her career. Her on-screen presence added to her growing reputation as a talented performer, showcasing her versatility as an artist. 
Zarina's legacy continues to inspire and influence dancers and choreographers today. Her contributions to the dance world have left an indelible mark, and her innovative style and technique continue to resonate with audiences and performers alike. Vera Zarina, born Eva Brigida Hartwig, was a renowned ballerina, actress, and choreographer who made significant contributions to the world of performing arts. One of the most significant turning points in her career was her collaboration with George Balanchine, a prominent choreographer and co-founder of the New York City Ballet. Balanchine created several ballets specifically for Zarina, including Concerto Baracco and The Card Party, which brought her to the forefront of the ballet world and earned her critical acclaim. Zarina's acting career also had breakthrough moments, such as her debut in the Hollywood film The Goldwyn Follies in 1938. Her performance in the film was highly praised, and she went on to appear in several more movies throughout her career, including I Was an Adventurous, Louisiana Purchase, and The Kangaroo Kid. Another notable achievement in Zarina's career was her work as a choreographer. She choreographed several successful Broadway productions, including Magdalena and On Your Toes. Her innovative choreography and unique style were widely recognized and appreciated by her peers and critics, further solidifying her position as a prominent figure in the performing arts. According to ballet critic and historian Arlene Kroos, Zarina's impact on the ballet world cannot be overstated. She was a true pioneer and a trailblazer who broke barriers and challenged conventions. Similarly, film critic Pauline Kael praised Zarina's acting stating that Zarina brought a rare combination of grace, intelligence, and charm to the screen. In summary, Vera Zarina's breakthrough moments in her career included her collaborations with George Balanchine, her debut in The Goldwyn Follies, and her work as a choreographer on Broadway. These achievements, among others, cemented her place in the annals of performing arts history and solidified her legacy as a versatile and groundbreaking artist. Vera Zarina, born Eve Sylvia Sturbank, was a Norwegian-American ballerina, actress, and director who stood out among her peers in the mid-20th century. She was trained in classical ballet and made her debut with the ballet Rust in Monte Carlo at the age of 18. Compared to her contemporaries, Zarina's unique qualities included her versatility and range as a performer. While many dancers of her era focused solely on ballet, Zarina successfully transitioned to acting in films and on stage. She starred in several Hollywood musicals, including The Goldwyn Follies, and I Was an Adventuress, and later appeared on Broadway in productions such as Gypsy Lady and The Gay Life. Zarina's unique qualities also included her innovative approach to choreography. She collaborated with notable directors and choreographers, including George Balanchine and Frederick Ashton, to create new and exciting dance sequences for the stage and screen. Her contributions to the world of dance helped to push the boundaries of what was possible in terms of movement and storytelling. Despite the challenges she faced as a woman in a male-dominated industry, Zarina remained a trailblazer throughout her career. She was a strong advocate for women's rights and used her platform to promote gender equality in the arts. Her unique qualities and contributions continue to be celebrated and studied by dancers, actors, and scholars around the world. Vera's Arena was a renowned actress, dancer, and choreographer, known for her unique style and approach to her work. She had a distinctive creative process that involved a deep connection between dance and music, often choosing to choreograph her own pieces to fully express her artistic vision. Zarina's personal experiences and worldview were heavily reflected in her work. She was born in Germany and trained in classical ballet but later moved to the United States and became associated with modern dance and American musical theater. This cultural exchange and fusion of styles can be seen in her innovative choreography and performances. Zarina's approach to dance was not just technical, but also deeply emotional and expressive. She believed in using movement to tell a story and convey feelings rather than just executing steps. This unique perspective allowed her to bring a new level of depth and artistry to her performances. In addition to her work as a performer, Zarina was also a respected choreographer and director. She approached these roles with the same dedication to artistic vision and expression, often working closely with composers and musicians to ensure that the music and movement were perfectly aligned. 
Zarina's legacy in the world of dance and theater is enduring, and her work continues to inspire and influence performers today. Her unique style and approach to her work, as well as her ability to blend different cultural influences and artistic mediums, make her a truly captivating and intriguing figure in the annals of theater history. Berezrina, born Eve Grenwald, is a renowned actress and dancer who has left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. She has three granddaughters, and after being imported to Hollywood by Samuel Goldwyn on a seven-year film contract, now resides in Santa Fe, New Mexico. In the 1960s, Serena directed the musical Cabaret in Oslo, showcasing her versatility in the industry. Her accomplishments continued into the 1970s when she was appointed director of the Norwegian Opera, further solidifying her contributions to the arts. Zarina's talents and achievements have left a mark on both Hollywood and the world of opera, and she is cherished by many for her enduring impact. Her legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, and her work remains a testament to her skill and dedication in the realm of entertainment. Vera Zarina was a significant figure in the world of dance and film. She was a ballerina and actress known for her work in both Hollywood and on Broadway. Zarina's unique blend of grace and athleticism made her a captivating performer, and she quickly became a star in her own right. Throughout her career, Zarina made numerous contributions to the industry. She was one of the first ballerinas to successfully transition to film, and she helped to popularize ballet among mainstream audiences. In addition to her work in front of the camera, Zarina was also a choreographer and director, and she played a crucial role in shaping the direction of both dance and theater. One of Zarina's most significant contributions was her influence on storytelling. She believed that dance could be used to tell complex and nuanced stories, and she worked to push the boundaries of what was possible on stage and screen. Her innovative choreography helped to elevate the art form and inspire a new generation of performers and creators. Industry experts and those who have been inspired by Zarina's work have praised her contributions to the industry. Many have noted her trailblazing role in bringing ballet to a wider audience and her influence on the development of modern dance and theater. As one expert put it, Zarina's work helped to redefine what was possible in the world of dance and theater. She was a true visionary and her contributions will be felt for generations to come. Despite passing away in 2003, Zarina's impact on the industry remains strong. Her legacy continues to inspire dancers, actors, and choreographers around the world and her contributions to the world of dance and film will be remembered for years to come. Vera Zarina was not only a talented ballerina and actress, but also a mother-in-law to the late opera singer Lorraine Hunt Lieberson. Zarina was born in Germany and began her ballet training at a young age. She eventually moved to the United States and became a prominent figure in the world of dance and theater. Throughout her career, Zarina performed in numerous ballets and Broadway shows and even appeared in several films. She was known for her grace and beauty as well as her versatility as a performer. In addition to her work on stage and screen, Zarina was also a choreographer and director. She founded her own dance company and was committed to promoting the art of ballet throughout her life. Zarina's influence extended beyond the world of dance and theater. She was married to conductor and composer Kurt Weil, and after his death, she married violinist and conductor Sixten Ailing. Through these marriages, Serena became connected to the world of classical music and helped to bridge the gap between the worlds of dance and music. Lorraine Hunt Lieberson, a renowned opera singer, became Serena's daughter-in-law when she married Serena's son, Peter Lieberson. Hunt Lieberson was known for her expressive singing and her ability to connect with audiences. She had a successful career in opera and concert music before her untimely death in 2006. Zarina's legacy continues to live on through her contributions to the world of dance and theater, as well as through her family's continued involvement in the arts. Her life and career serve as a testament to her talent and dedication to the arts. Vera Zarina, born Eva Bridget Hartwig, was not just an actress and dancer, but also a woman of great personal values and interests that extended beyond her professional sphere. She was a passionate supporter of various charitable causes, particularly those related to the arts and children's welfare. 
Zarina was known for her love of animals and was actively involved in animal rights organizations. She believed that every creature deserved love and care, and this belief was reflected in her actions both on and off screen. In addition to her love for animals, Zarina was also deeply committed to promoting the arts. She was a strong advocate for arts education and believed that everyone should have access to the arts, regardless of their background or economic status. She worked tirelessly to promote the arts and make them more accessible to the general public. Zarina's personal values and interests also influenced her work as an actress and dancer. She was known for her grace, elegance, and poise, both on and off the stage. She believed in the power of art to inspire, educate, and transform lives, and she used her talents to bring joy and beauty to the world. Zarina's philanthropic efforts were not limited to animal rights and the arts. She was also involved in various other charitable causes, including children's welfare and education. She believed that every child deserved a chance to succeed in life, and she worked to provide opportunities for children from all backgrounds to learn and grow. In summary, Beers Reno was not just a talented actress and dancer, but also a woman of great personal values and interests. She was passionate about animal rights, promoting the arts, and supporting children's welfare and education. Her personal values and interests informed her work and inspired her to make a positive impact on the world around her. Vera Zarina faced significant challenges in her personal life. She was married four times, with her third marriage to George Balanchine, the co-founder of the New York City Ballet, ending in divorce. Her fourth and final marriage to Vincent Minnelli, a renowned film director, also ended in divorce. Zarina had no children of her own, which was a source of sadness for her. In addition to her struggles with marriage, Zarina also experienced a tragic loss when her sister, Evelyn, died in a car accident in 1944. Zarina was very close to her sister and was devastated by her death. Despite these personal setbacks, Zarina had a successful career as a ballerina, actress, and director. She starred in several films, including The Goldwyn Follies, and I Was an Adventuress, and was also a respected stage performer. Later in life, she became a director and choreographer, working on productions such as Silk Stockings and The Nutcracker. Zarina's contributions to the world of dance and theater were significant, and she will always be remembered as a talented and innovative artist. However, her personal life was marked by sadness and loss, which had a profound impact on her. Vera Zarina was a trailblazing actress, dancer, and choreographer who left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Her innovative approach to dance and acting inspired many, and her work continues to be celebrated today. For those looking to follow in her footsteps, Zarina would likely advise aspiring professionals to hone their craft, be open to new experiences, and never stop learning. The entertainment industry is constantly evolving, and it's essential to stay informed about new trends and developments. This may involve attending workshops, taking classes, or seeking out mentors who can offer guidance and support. In addition to developing technical skills, it's also important to cultivate a unique perspective and voice. This can help set you apart from others in the industry and make your work more compelling and memorable. Finally, Zarina would likely encourage aspiring professionals to be resilient and persistent. The entertainment industry can be challenging and competitive, but those who are passionate, dedicated, and willing to put in the hard work can achieve great things. By staying true to themselves and their artistic vision, they can make a meaningful contribution to the industry and leave a legacy of their own. I'd like to invite you to share your thoughts on the work and legacy of Vera Zarina, the accomplished actress, dancer, and choreographer. We'd love to hear what you think about her contributions to the entertainment industry and how her talent has resonated with you. Please don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits who have shaped the world of entertainment. Your support helps us continue to create and share this type of content with you and others. Let's keep the conversation going and celebrate the life and work of this fascinating figure. We're excited to hear your thoughts on Vera's Rena. Thank you for being a part of our community.